So obviously we're going to be using in integration by parts here. You can see that if I let u equal this, the derivative of it is still going to be e to the x. And if I let u equal this, the derivative will be cosine. My point here is no matter how many times you take the derivative of these two, either of these two, they never really get any simpler. Consequently, that means that when we use integration by parts, the second part which says minus v du, we're going to have to use integration by parts a second time. So essentially what's going to happen is we'll have this original integral. It equals, we do integration by parts once, we do integration by parts again, and then what's going to happen is the same integral perhaps with some number one seventh or something like that, Th that integral is going to show up again, e to the x sine of 5x. So think about this just as algebra now, you've got one object over here plus one seventh over here, so what we'll need to do is subtract that from both sides, and then we would have six sevenths of them on this side. So the answer would essentially be this, then we would need to multiply by 7 6 to get rid of this fraction. So that's just a quick sketch of where we're going with this. So I'm going to use this as the u, and this as dv. So let u equal the e to the x, the derivative of which is e to the x. Let dv be the sine of 5x dx, and then find the antiderivative of that, which is going to be negative cosine of 5x. Don't forget the chain rule, we'll need to divide by 5. So integration by parts will give us this times this, the u times the v. Keep in mind that we've got an equation we need to build, so it's going to be the original problem integrate e to the x sine of 5x dx equals, by integration by parts, it's the u times v. So we'd have, I'm going to go ahead and factor the fraction out in front, negative one-fifth, then the e function multiplied with cosine of 5x, minus then the second part of integration by parts, it's the v times du, so multiply these two, and again I'm going to put the negative one-fifth in front, then multiply these two, and it's going to be e to the x times cosine of 5x dx. Okay, we're about halfway done. We now need to do integration by parts again over here. So to keep track of everything, I'm going to go ahead and factor out this negative one-fifth and rewrite this part down. So with the two negatives, it becomes a positive one-fifth. And now we need to integrate this e to the x and cosine of 5x dx. I let the u equal the transcendental function, in other words, this e function. So I should be consistent and let u be the transcendental function again, while dv is equal to the trig function. So this is going to be dv. Here's the u. And repeat the process. So u is equal to e to the x. And the derivative of that is e to the x let dv be the cosine of 5x. In this we need to integrate, which will be a positive sine of 5x divided by 5. Now keep in mind, we're integrating this, the 1 -fifth applies to the whole thing. So,
we've got a one-fifth that applies to this whole thing. The u times v will be these two. So there's that one-fifth, then the e to the x, and sine of 5x minus the integral of the v times du. So that's got a one-fifth in it, and an e to the x, and a sine of 5x. Okay, so here's what I was talking about. The original integral has reappeared, but it's now got a 125th, a negative 125th attached to it. So notice that there's this 1/5th and this negative 1/5th. That means that we need to add to both sides of the equation. So add 1 25th of this integral. to both sides of the equation. So we'll need to add that over here as well. Add 1 25th of our original problem. So consequently we would have 25 over 25 plus one more is 26 over 25. So we have 26 25ths of this integral is equal to, well now these cancel each other out, so we just have these two pieces left. So there's negative 1 -fifth e to the x cosine of 5x, and then these two will make it 1 25th. e to the x sine of 5x plus c, and finally multiply both sides by the reciprocal 25 over 26. So when I multiply this one by 25 over 26, let me just write it for emphasis, 25 over 26, those cancel, multiply by 25 over 26, that would leave a 5 in the numerator and a 26, so negative 5 over 26 e to the x cosine 5x. Distribute that over the here and the 25s will cancel, so that's going to be a 1 26th e to the x sine of 5x and plus c.